So that was a good episode of Dorara. I only have one question though. What was the point of all of that? Like, <laughs> like I don't understand what was the point of this uh, backstory for Akabayashi at all. Like, I'm happy that we do know more about him. I thought the episode itself was good, but I'm just confused about why is his backstory so important that they had to dedicate an entire episode to it. I'm just really curious. Maybe they're just trying to adapt all the novels. They'll probably be useful later on, but I'm just kind of like, uh... Good episode, but what what was the point of it? <laughs> uh, nonetheless, I'll go ahead and get into the review. Uh, before I get into that, though, I will never stop fangasming over this opening. I'm sorry. 156, it was the first scene where he was walking down the street. Looked nice as hell. I thought the bathroom, like that scene in the bathroom, though, uh, there was, I think that looked okay. But the thing that, like, stood out to me was the fact that nobody sat there and walked up to the girls and said, suck our dicks because i thought that was like the number one thing they were going to do i thought they were going to try to put them into like prostitution for them to get the drugs but apparently not maybe that's what they were heading towards but that's not what happened so okay akabayashi is goat though i did like this backstory uh i think the funniest part was when the uh fat ass got abused that was pretty hilarious he was trash like he acted all bad as shit he was fucking garbage fake fake uh, 642, there was a nice looking background. Uh, 914, I think that was the place where the tiger was. Like, that, uh, for a second, like, I was just like, oh, stop. I was like, why well, we got tigers here? And then I was like, oh, oh, that's just, uh, that's just the headquarters. Okay. Cool. Because I thought it was a real thing at first. I meant, like, and then, like, I looked at it for another second. And I was like, oh, no, that's not a real thing. And this fucking fly is getting in here. Sorry about that. That fly was pissing me off. I needed to, like, try to punch it in the face. Got away. But, uh, going on. <laughs> uh, where the hell were we? Uh, yeah, the tiger thing. But anyways, past that, I thought the course, like, this course of Dorara looks a lot better than, like, the previous two did. And um, by previous two, I'm talking about the first season and the last course. So, I do like how this looks compared to the other seasons. Uh, 10, 16, there was a little bit of a choppy camera, but that was the only place in the episode where I really questioned the animation at all. So... That's nice. That was usually one of the main complaints with Dora Rai. It didn't look all that great. Like, I thought the animation in Season 1 was very good. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, but that's because it was brain space. But the first course of uh, Season 2 looked, let's, let's be honest, ugly as shit. So, <laughs> uh, it's just nice to see that type of budget increase. Uh, I like how everything's connecting. I thought the pacing during this backstory was really well, uh, I thought it was, uh, really well paced. I didn't feel as if it was ever too fast, too slow. Everything was easy to understand, and I really like how they threw in that Henri and Seiji scene just to make sure that you knew where in the story this was taking place. I thought that that was a really smart idea. Uh, I also like why Akabayashi doesn't like drugs. I thought it was actually a pretty, uh, interesting backstory. Uh... 1358, pretty sure that's not how swords go back into the body, but you know, I'm just, uh, nitpicking at this point. Uh, he ripped out his own eyeball, but he didn't cry. Plot hole, uh, show. Uh, draw ra, x2, 10, 2 out of 10. Uh, good night. Like the new OST, there was a little bit of, like, a, this oboe song in the background, like, 16 minutes in, and I thought that sounded really nice. Uh, and 2208, the lights look nice, so that's all about it. Not too much to talk about. Uh, as usual, because I suck at episodic reviewing, so, uh, kill me and I'll go, uh, and if you don't, I'll go, uh, burn myself on acid. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. And I will, uh, dedicate my afternoon to, uh, killing this fly. I'm gonna fucking murder it. Deuces!